Once Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out, there was an immediate outrage, an immediate cry about the character King K. Rule for several reasons. He has a lot of armor on his attacks, he has incredibly strong kill confirms, or though it seems like with down throw and down tilt, he just has a really annoying recovery, really hard to hit, and a lot of people's opinions kind of just made them play in a way that they did not want. So here today, I want to talk about how to beat King K. Rule, and I'm not going to talk about everything because that would be too much information, but I do want this to be my first Deal With It series for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate featuring King K. Rule and his most oppressive options. This video, I will mostly be focusing on how to deal with his neutral B, the blunderbuss, his side B, the crown, his down throw, his armor, and his recovery. So if you already know how to deal with all those things, congratulations, you're probably pretty good at the K. Rule matchup, but if not, I do want to talk about a few things. First off is going to be his neutral, which is his side B. His side B, the crown throw, is so good. The move has armor, it has two hitboxes, both on approach and then return of the crown itself. It can combo into people. You can use it off stage as a way to detract people from edge guarding you. This move just kind of does it all. If you are in like a mid range, there are areas where if he throws the crown or even if he dashes back and throws the crown, you will be able to jump over it, punish it, get a grab and use the grab's armor in order to get through to King K rule or hit him and not get hit by the crown itself. If you are not close enough, I would highly recommend just kind of jumping over it and kind of resetting back into neutral because King K rule, honestly, in my opinion, doesn't have incredible neutral tools. Uh, you know, he's not just going to be able to like run up and up tilt you. That's not really the type of character he is. So he is going to have to get his openings via the crown or dash attack or even a random dash grab. So if you are looking out for crown and you are really prepared to deal with it, you aren't really going to be able to get hit by much else because the positions that you put yourself in via like jumping out of crown will also kind of deal with dash attack and dash grab and his aerials aren't fast enough to really hit you for it. Another big thing in how to deal with crown is to actually just keep it away from him. You can keep the crown away from him because that obviously takes away his ability to side B and it will significantly neuter his ability in neutral in general. King K. Rule players will do almost anything to get back to their crown, so if you just put yourself between them and the crown, even maybe some like short hop backwards to try to bait out, as I mentioned, dash attacks or dash grabs, that will do amazing in order to keep King K. Rule at bay and then just constantly keep him away from his crown. Hell, you can honestly, if you do have it and you throw him off stage, you can actually use it to edge guard since it does have a decent amount of knockback. You can throw it down, it will go past his up B, hit him, and if you have a spike or another move that hits out, you can actually combo it into death. K. Rule's neutral B, his blunderbuss, is also an obnoxious projectile to deal with, but less so on stage and more so off stage. He throws it out and can kind of force you to either use your double jump or to air dodge or to fast fall very low to avoid it. Also, it feels a lot of the times like a very oppressive ledge trap tool because if he lingers with the uh, hold neutral be like the sucking variant of it, it will hit ledge jump, it will hit neutral get up, it will hit high recoveries, it will hit non sweet spot recoveries in general, and he throws it off stage or then he throws you off stage and it can kill you at very early percents because being like 90 and for a projectile type of command grab move that is really early. In order to deal with this, you kind of have to understand the spacing of how K rule works. And remember that get up attack is 100% invincible on your first ledge grab until the attack comes out. That is key in order to deal with K rule because if he is too close to the ledge holding his blunderbuss or his neutral B in order to try to command grab you or suck you up, you can get up attack into him off the ledge and hit him for it. Also, if he's too close, you can actually just roll past him as the majority of characters. So make sure that, you know, as a K rule player, you don't want to be able to get rolled through. So you do want to be a little bit farther back but if you're a little bit farther back then typically you know you will be able to ledge jump off of the ledge against k rule and then be above them and then you won't get sucked up by the command grab you may get a little bit of horizontal boost as you go towards him but you should not get command grab so remember just be aware of the spacing of that move because that will determine how you deal with it next up is going to be his berry moves being his down throw and his down tilt honestly down throw is kind of a placebo. A lot of people are honestly really bad at mashing in this game, but realistically, this move should not kill you. If you are an above average masher, which you kind of just have to practice, I don't know the exact way to mash, but both from mashing all buttons, mashing just the stick in circles, or doing both, I'm able to get out of the King K. Rule's down throw at, at pretty much every discernible percent. I will never get down throw forward smash or up smash or down smash, or at least until like reasonable percents where like up throw is gonna kill percent you, right? So, you know, this isn't really anything that to be worried about if you are good enough at mashing just remember if you are getting grabbed to start mashing and then look out for back throw being the other kill throw uh, and remember to di that if you are close to the edge of the stage because otherwise you should not really be dying to down throw however 
down tilt does have a much longer innate berry timer so you will actually die to that at about a hundred to percent like you are just guaranteed to get hit by like down tilt forward smash or down tilt forward tilt which is an incredibly strong kill option but down tilt being laggy just watch out for it and if you are confident in your mashing then you can just hold shield and if you get grabbed you still shouldn't be dying anyway due to the fact that you can mash out of the down throw pretty much until death percents like the worst thing i've really ever got hit by is down throw up tilt but up tilt isn't exactly a kill move unless you're at the very very edge of stage at about 140 in which case if i'm dying to a heavy at 140 percent that is fine by me now i'm going to talk about easily the most obnoxious thing about king k rule which is the abundance of his armor between forward tilt down smash up tilt nair even one of his taunts has armor this character just seems so obnoxious to hit sometimes because if he guesses right and that's when you throw a move out you either die or take a lot of percent or at the very least lose your advantage state versus him but me being an expert at passive play due to the fact that i have a lot of experience against bayonetta in smash 4 i have some tips for you first off i want to talk about how the armor works it has a percent limit into how much damage he can take from the armor before it shield breaks him or he just dies really early because sometimes he gets like pushed off really far and i don't exactly know why but generally he will go into like a shield break-esque animation and you can get very early kills i believe the percent is about 25 i'm going to put on the screen i'm going to test it don't worry uh how much percent he actually takes in order for him to break his armor that's between 25 and 30 percent so it will take a couple aerials or at the very least a smash attack or two in order to break it First, I'm going to be talking about King K. Rule's Neutral Air, the kind of body splash that has super armor, and it is his best landing tool by far. The way to overcome this is honestly just to bait it out and to wait. King K. Rule's fall speed isn't the greatest. It's not super fast, so it's not like he's going to be able to just plummet down to the ground with this Neutral Air. He is going to have to throw it out early and preemptively in, in, in hopes that you throw a move out at him and then he lands. So jump at him, bait out the Nair, and then punish accordingly because the move honestly isn't active for that that long maybe like 10 maybe 9 frames which isn't that good in order for like a body splash nair like it's not lingering enough to just kind of be like oh I'm gonna land for free every time King K rule players at least at the current moment have very obvious habits when they want to nair so if you just kind of catch on to this early in the set or early in the game you will be able to abuse them and you will be able to hit them just a lot and make it really really difficult for them to land and then suddenly his massive armor move is going to feel a lot less of a threat honestly I'm more annoyed at his ground normals having the armor be his up smash down smash and forward tilt and dash attack those moves in my opinion are a bit harder to deal with because you're kind of just playing neutral and you throw out the aggressive move and then they armor it and hit you for it and sometimes they can kill you for it if it's down smash or forward tilt you know i think alpharad aptly termed his down smash as a sidestep with a hitbox because it has armor so if you throw the move out you will get armored out and you will die at ridiculously early percents however all of the moves that King K. Rool uses that have armor are punishable on shield by pretty much every single character. So the key is to just be patient, be at a range where the K. Rool players want to throw out their forward tilt, want to throw out their dash attack, want to throw out their down smash. Don't be antsy or you will run into these armor moves. Just be patient and kind of just let him fall into his own trap because K. Rool has no real way to force characters to approach other than his projectiles. But as I mentioned, his projectiles are very punishable if you stay at a good mid range. So if he's do if you're at that mid-range and he doesn't feel comfortable in order to throw crown then he will feel coerced into using more of his normals or using his movement and if he does pretty much any of his normals they're all punishable on shield so do not be afraid as long as you keep to the ranges of like the mid-range where you're going to be able to punish crown k roll has very very few options and yes his movement is pretty decent so you are going to have to move against that to make sure you react to his dash forwards so then he can you know he creates the space and he creates the close-up quarters combat and then you can obviously then back up and try to keep that space and if you ever just feel cheeky and you think he's going to approach without a hitbox, you can always throw out a hitbox into him. But if he armors it, obviously you will get hit. But at the same time, it's not really going to be the end of the world. Since K. Roll doesn't have an insane combo game, it's kind of just, oh, I got hit. Let me just go back into neutral. Let me try to do play this again. Let me try to guess right. Because honestly, you will be getting more damage against a K. Roll per neutral interaction than a K. Roll will be getting off of you, assuming that you understand how to respect Nair. And to me, one of the most infuriating parts of K. Rool is the fact that his recovery is one of the best and one of the hardest to mess with in the entire game. Most characters, you know, you can trade from above it or you can just kind of hit most characters that are recovering in some type of way unless they have really invincible or really versatile recoveries. But K. Rool just kind of goes out there with his forward air, with his down air, with his neutral air, kind of edge guards people. And if he misses, he just recovers and can hit the people on the ledge for free. It's so hard to two frame him just because of the range of his recovery. It is actually ridiculous. And 
the hitbox of his up B also goes really far and hits people on stage, so you have to deal with it in a very specific way in terms of edge guarding. The best way to hit and to edge guard King K rule is to drop off the ledge early, go into the stage in terms of like towards the stage or even behind the stage if it's a walled stage, and then get to the side of King K rule, double jump and do an aerial. It's easier to go into the stage, like let's say a battlefield, to just drift under the stage and then jump back out and do a back air because you will be able to put King K rule off stage if he doesn't have a jump, he is going to have to recover in the same way, in which case you can rinse and repeat these edge guards. Or if he goes higher, you can just kind of get on stage because he's not going to snap the ledge and then charge a forward smash. So King K. Roll, honestly, if you are really good at edge guarding, his recovery gets a lot, a lot worse. Because yeah, he can angle his up and make it a little bit more difficult to edge guard or, you know, have a little bit more variance in where he goes. But if you are close enough to him and understand how his up works, you will be able to edge guard him and at the very least get on a lot of damage or even potentially kill King K. Roll for recovering. Make sure you just go to the side of his up B and then hit it with a back air or a forward or neutral air, depending on your character, whatever you really want. In combination, the way to play against King K. Rule is to play a generally passive game while staying at threatening ranges so he cannot actually use crown effectively or blunderbuss effectively. He's going to be forced to use his normal tools or his dashing in general, but in that case, he is a lackluster character when it comes to that in general, at least compared to a lot of top tier characters. Like, don't get me wrong, these tips will not make King K. Rule a mid tier or a low tier character. I still think King K. Rule is a high tier character, and if you do not know how to deal with him, he is one of the most oppressive characters in the entire game. However, with these tools and with these tips and tricks on how to deal with King K. Rule, I hope that your time in Elite Smash is a little bit easier, and you know, maybe your journey to Elite Smash is a little bit easier because these tips are honestly very, very helpful. And you know, again, just play patient, understand your ranges, and honestly, you're going to have a much, much better time when fighting against King K. Rule. And yeah, that is going to be about it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments down below who you want me to make a deal with it for next because I know a lot of people are complaining about characters because they're new and just people don't understand how to fight against specific characters. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the thumbs up or the like button. It really appreciate it. It does help a lot in terms of me growing my channel, so I would very much appreciate it. And yeah, social media, Panda, and partner stuff is down below, and I will see you all next time.